I'm the language instructor for Brayden, um, Edmonton branch, um, and I hold English classes every month for our clients. We have a lot of clients who come in and they need to uh, pass some uh, English tests, uh, uh, primarily the IELTS test, and um, we basically train them and help them um, get their score, their desired score in IELTS. At some point to attain licensure in Canada, they need to pass a language test. Uh, for doctors, for example, they need to pass IELTS for nurses, for pharmacists, uh, teachers. Um, basically, I think apart from engineers, everybody else has to have some sort of uh, um, English test uh, results uh, to be able to practice their profession in Canada. and. Um, that's what we do. We help them attain their score and uh, that basically, up, along with the other tests that they have to pass that are discipline specific, um, they would be able to start practicing in Canada. We've had um, a lot of clients, uh, especially physicians who come to Canada and they're amazing at their job. So they are able to pass their uh, medical tests very quickly and they have no problem with those, but then they get stuck with IELTS. So uh, I've had many clients who have taken IELTS 10 times, 15 times even, and they haven't been able to pass. And um, that basically sets them back about a year, maybe even more than that. And um, after taking our classes, they have been able to pass. And so that's a very good feeling to, to see them, you know, progressing in their life and becoming licensed in Canada. Probably the most important tip would be uh, to encourage them to study for their language tests when they are already home, uh, they have, before they immigrate to Canada, um, because it would be, they would, they would have a lot of time to do that at home and you know, here it's stressful and they have to look for survival jobs while they're preparing for tests. So. Uh, they won't have a lot of time. There are a lot of things that they have to take care of, you know, set up a new life in Canada. Um, I would even encourage them to even take the test back home if they are able to. It's an international test, so they would be able to take it anywhere they want. Um, in almost all countries, there is some test center. Um, so I would encourage them not to wait until they come to Canada and then worry about improving their language because that would be very very stressful for them and your foreign qualification recognition journey begins here <laughs>